Hey, welcome back, everybody. Hey, they have us laughing off camera because I have this guy here that's, he's been all over the place. You know him. Welcome back. Uh, our next guest is a writer and comedian who has received numerous awards and performed all around the world. Not all around the world. York. Yeah, all around the world. If not only in your mind. Yes, right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Jamie Roberts to the show. Thanks See, for I having me. I made you laugh. Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah. Oh, you're always welcome to come here. So you've been doing stand-up for some time. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've been doing stand-up since 2001. What got you into it? Uh, just the love of entertaining people. Uh, I went to a comedy show one day, and uh, my brother was with me. He was like, uh, that guy stinks. And I was like, I, I, I think he stinks, too. Did you knock him off the stage? Hey, get out of here. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I went back about a, about a month later with my own routine, performed, and I actually won a competition. Oh, okay. So I started going from there. But you, you didn't know early on in life that you, this is what you wanted to do. No, You not were not the class clown. Or anything. Well, yes, I you was. Were. Yes, oh. but I never knew that I could take it to the stage, uh -huh. make it a business, get paid, you know, travel, see the world. It's something well, I never something thought of. you're passionate about that you really, really love. Yes, I they love doing it. They said if you can do a job that you're passionate about, it's you're not never, a job. It, yeah. It's not a job anymore. Never work a day in your life. That's right. That's right. So some of the places that you've been to and some of the people uh, that you've been to. Been in Atlanta. Uh, well, your, your friend, Talent. Talent yeah. showed me how to do this comedy thing. Uh -huh. uh, I learned with, with him a couple years back. From money uh, earning. Money earning Mount Vernon. I'm from Amityville, Long Island All myself. Right. <laughs> but by Ken, Ken, spider away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. So he showed me how to do this. Uh -huh. um, working underneath his wings, just doing different shows, different uh, road gigs with him, learning. Uh, being introduced to the right people at the right time, yeah. just knowing when the opportunity is right there, when you need to actually step into that light and actually get on stage and, and do yeah. what you love to do. Sometimes you can't do things by yourself. You need to know who's that person that got here. He paved the way. That's right. He, he needs to make that connection for me. That's right. It's a mentor. And then you come with the talent. That's right. It's a mentor. With talent. With talent. <laughs> yeah. Come with talent for talent. That's right. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah. And so now I'm at um, Caroline's this weekend uh -huh. with um, Kenny Williams, who's also one of my mentors. All right. He's headlining. I'm hosting. Him and Talon are very good friends, you know, part of the Kings of Comedy, you know, New yeah. York Kings of Comedy right, right, that right. they run around New York. They've taken it out of state as well. So I've been able to be fortunate enough to work with people like that. What, how, do you, how do you handle the hecklers? Sometimes, there's always oh. a heckler. There's always it all, a heckler out there, right? It all depends on which part of the heckling world you're in. Now, in Brooklyn, it's a different heckler than it is White Plains. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Two different types. Uh, you always got to look for your exits. You always got to know where your exits are. <laughs> and you always have to understand. You lay it on? You yeah. don't have it? Well, you got to understand the situation. Sometimes it calls uh, for that. Sometimes, you know, you need to get them removed <laughs> because that can actually help, you know, hurt the show, rather. If you're just, you know, keying on one person. Everyone came here to have a good time, and this person may ruin it for everyone else. So <laughs> it all depends on the situation. <laughs> I heard Red Fox, he was in the audience. And so I said, yo, I can't hear you. He said, well, pay more and get a good get, seat. Get a good seat, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> that's right, if you're but the nosebleeds. But he used that to help him with his company. Exactly, exactly. So and some of that stuff can help you out. Yes, it can. Yeah. I've developed jokes off of it, you know. Um, and it's also showing how well-craft you are at your, mm -hmm. you know, what, what you're doing. Because some people may get stumbled if someone yells something out. If you don't come right back in certain rooms, then the whole room turns on you. Like, oh, he's not professional enough to handle this guy. I'm yeah. not going to listen to him for and the rest of the show. you could be in the middle of your routine. Yeah. You're ready to hit the punchline. You this have cat to. comes up with some stuff. You have to be quick, yeah, especially yeah. in certain rooms. So your comedy come spring, is a springboard off of what? Things that are happening in the community? <laughs> things that are... Comedy is life. Is comedy yeah. is life. Um... I have two children, so I speak a lot about that. Uh -huh. uh, I've been divorced, I speak a lot about that. Uh, and just everyday life. That could, tough, that could be a tough thing, so you just make well, light of it. What, do you mean divorce? Yeah. Well, I'm here now, so I made it through, you know what I mean? She took half my stuff, she you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes they get more than that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I got a closet full of left shoes at home. But besides that, I'm here. You know, you I made it to that. stuff thrown out on the front lawn or thrown out? No, the no, they didn't no. get that bad. This ain't, you know, that no, it ain't that bad. So let's stop this before it gets exactly, to Exactly, exactly, exactly. Came home to open an uh, empty house, though, I'll tell you that. And that was weird. Thought I was robbed. So... <laughs> <laughs> but things happen. Things happen. <laughs> you see, I got you laughing. Yeah, That's you the most did. important part. <laughs> so what are some of the things you're going to be, well, you can't tell everything, but well, yeah, at, I at can. the comedy club, you're going to do what at Caroline's? Well, I'm going to be hosting, so I'm definitely going to be talking about everything from my family to the Game of Thrones. Everyone's uh, watching Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Yeah, I don't I know if you are. Hot. I mean, I was switching through the channels. I, I mentioned that on the radio last night. I uh -huh. said, are you a novice? Or you just, you just switch through the channels? You just hear about it and you say, oh, okay. And, 
or are you deeply involved? Deeply in involved. Yeah. And you know, growing up, I used to make fun of people who used to watch, uh, you know, Shoots and Ladders and Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> and now I'm rushing home Sunday night to watch this nonsense. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah. but stuff like that. Uh, family, of course, relationships, uh, dating in this world that we are dealing with right now. So, right. you know, a little bit of everything, so everyone get a, a, a good mix of of comedy. Uh, Hit us with it like a 30 second thing. 30 seconds. Uh, I was just telling you, I've been divorced. Uh -huh. uh, and it's kind of crazy because now I'm dating an older woman, which is, you know, difference. There's a big difference between uh -huh. dating a younger woman and an older woman. She's a cougar. She's, no, I don't know if she's a cougar, probably a mountain lion. How about that? She's a little bit older. <laughs> <laughs> She's you know, older than the person who wants a cougar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wants to have kids as well. And, you know, uh -oh. I got old sperm. She has old eggs. We're not doing this. We mess around and have an old baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the baby born like 15 years old. With we can't have that. Right? Yeah, <laughs> with a beard, wrinkles in the forehead. Can't yeah, have yeah. that. You know? <laughs> <Right. coughs> What's my water? <laughs> can't Can I drink some of this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Never mind. <laughs> Just leave it like that. Right. We'll see the rest over at Caroline's. Correct, right? correct. Friday, yep. Saturday, and Sunday. There you go. You have a website? Yes, jamierobbins.com. You can catch me on jamierobbins.com and also Instagram, social media is Comedian Jamie. Yeah. Uh, do you add any acrobatics or anything? No, to I'm too tall for that, man. <laughs> Got bad knees, man. What play about, ball. 6'3? Six, 6'3. Three? Six, three, yeah. Play ball. Play ball in high uh. school, and that's where it ended. You know? yeah. <laughs> My knees said you can't take this to college. No, don't take this to college. <laughs> Your knees are not educated. Enough. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right. So that's one of the things that you're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, you can talk about relationships and um, game, uh, game, game of Thrones, of Thrones right? And and children as well. And children. You know? Yeah. What's funny about your children? You have two. Uh, I got two. Boy yeah. and a girl. Uh, I got a 13-year-old boy right now. Uh, he's taking three showers a day. Uh, <laughs> he's coming out. He's still stinking. So what he's the hell's <laughs> going on in that shower? Yeah. We got to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk to And <laughs> <laughs> hey, you told me. Yeah, you told me. <laughs> well, you know what goes on. <laughs> right, right. All right. Caroline's, and your website is? Uh, JamieRoberts.com. And that's this weekend, Carolina. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll be there with Kenny Williams. Come, Come on out because? Because I'll be there. We're going to have a great time. <laughs> and in this world, we need laughter. There you go. Laughter is like medicine. That's right. It's, the, right. Best, it's the best form of medicine, and it's hey, cheap. Jamie Roberts, thank you so much. Thanks for having Come me. By really again, appreciate okay? it. Thank you, brother. <clears throat> i got to get some water and all that stuff. Yeah, man. <laughs> get something else in that cup. <laughs> yeah. That, well, you know, you know what's in here, right? You you said, smell this. You said it's yak? What is this? Smell that. Smell that. Oh, that's cool. All right. <laughs> That's cool. All right. That's what you think it is? That's how I hope it is. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. Comedian Jamie Roberts. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's show. I'd like to thank you, our guests, for joining us and tuning in and checking it all out. And you can catch a re-cable cast tonight at 5 and 10 p.m. Or you can watch anytime on the web at bronxnet.org. You can tune in Wednesday also for a brand new episode with our host, Darren Hyme. For all of us here at Bronxnet, have a great and enjoyable day. And always remember... What you are is God's gift to you, and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice, and let your choice control the chooser. Happy Earth Day, and I'll see you on 107.5 WBLS. Love you all. Peace.